Hey, this is uh, Vikerman here in Crete with the Jewish Dynasty and Crusader Kings too. Uh, we conquered Tortosa over here last time. So that's exciting. Got a little bit of a holding on the mainland of uh, Kingdom of Syria, I think. Um, but we're on our way trying to get into the, the land of our ancestors and uh, reclaim Israel there. Oh yeah, it looks like Syria. We're part of the Kingdom of Syria. Tortosa is there. So, that's pretty close. Uh, we're going to try to get some more claims. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the Emirate of Jerusalem there, which is what we need to form Israel, uh, it's under the Abbasid Empire, so we'd have to take on the full strength of the whole empire in order to get that land. So that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. But we can dream right so uh, yeah the caliph there he's actually gonna be 16 soon so unfortunately it's not gonna break up the Empire probably like I had hoped now let's uh, speed things up and uh, here we are yeah we've got our our nice family there Medium Crown Authority? That doesn't really affect us. I guess it's just because we're within their de jure territory up there with Tortosa. Oh no! What is going on? We're at war now. Who is that? This guy here. He's not a whole lot bigger than us, so we might we might stand a chance. Uh, what's our levy like here? Oh, jeez, that will not do. It's been recently conquered, so there's hardly any. So, we'll just, uh, get our... We don't have a whole lot of fleet yet, but we'll go ahead and raise them. And, uh, we'll need to raise our army to see if we can get... Oh, merchant fleet! Okay, so for 50 gold we get 20 ships. Which may be helpful, um, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of a lot. I think I'll do that. But, uh, on the other hand, could get some mercenaries here. Uh, doing both of that, though, would uh, start to add up. Hmm. 50 gold. Uh, wouldn't be able to sustain, sustain that for too long. Yeah, that budget just not going to make it. Hmm. And he'll just get slaughtered, so we'll stand them down for now. Let's go ahead and uh, get the fleet. And uh, should work out. We'll go ahead and send them over to Tortosa. Then send the, ba the ships back for more. Okay. So send the ships back. Go ahead and send these armies over here. So and with this this small unit here, it would be too many to fit in our ships. So I'm going to send them away for now and have these guys go. Oh my. That is that is not good. That is a big number of troops. We got to get out of here. I think it's probably too late. Ah. Crap. 
Oh no, somebody else has declared war on us. The Sultan of Egypt? Right? Well, shoot. Hopefully they'll kill each other. Yeah, there's no way we would have been able to take that. Let's just wait. See if the Egyptians get up here. Even if we hired mercenaries, it still wouldn't be enough. I mean, it might have if our whole levy was replenished, but even if we beat them, there's no way we're beating Egypt. Yeah, we can't afford any of this. Mercenaries are a whole lot worse than they used to be. More expensive and less troops, really. I think that was something they did in one of these patches. Uh, he's not gonna take a white piece. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, let's marry our son off to uh, Princess of Kazaria. Yeah, they're, uh, they're the only other Jewish country out there, so we should probably be friends. So she's gonna, she'll be grown up in like three years. We can go ahead and betroth. That should work out. And our son here. Okay, so technology, technology, what will we do? Uh, look. Our retinues are pretty, pretty sad shape. Can't really afford anything. That increases by 160 percent. Yeah, we need to increase our troop strength. It's the most pressing matter. And castle infrastructure, that'll be helpful. Once we start building again, but we really need to think about keeping our... Uh, ourselves alive at the moment. Can't be spending like that. Okay, so we may not be able to last. Okay, so it looks like we have a uh, a Jewish steward type fella who has come to our empire, which makes a lot of sense since we're Jewish as well. That's great. So uh, let's check him out. Looks like he is indeed better than our current guy. So let's go ahead and have him research economy tech. Great. And we're getting trounced. What's going on now? Okay. It's not looking good for us. Keeping that Tortosa territory. And, uh, yeah, our retinues are in terrible shape, as you can see. I don't... we can blind this person. Who, who's that? I don't remember... capturing her. That's weird. So, might as well release her. Gives us some points with our vassals, mercifulness, and all that. 
And we've lost. I think we've lost this war. So our troops probably need to think about going. Yeah, we lost. Need to think about going home. Well, yeah, they're suffering attrition. And uh, let's get our boats. Unfortunately, they're going to have to, like, swim to get to them. Because we don't own the territory that we're stationed in. Let's bring them on home so they can disband safely. And then we'll also disband the ships. And disband. So, I need a new rabbi here. And get back to proselytization, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Still getting that claim over there. Our son. Uh, he's okay. Alrighty. We still got that claim, which we'll inherit to our children. Since we actually owned it. Uh, if it was just fabricated and we hadn't claimed it, then they wouldn't get anything from it. It wouldn't uh, be inheritable. So, I don't know where else we can think to uh, attack. Maybe Rome? No. <laughs> That's probably a recipe for trouble. So, we'll uh, see if we can get that claim. And uh, try again, I guess. But uh, we should probably think about maybe, uh, well, let me see here. So uh, we can get the gregarious trait there. I don't know why you would ever not pick this first one unless you're just going for a certain roleplay style. Because uh, you basically get a free positive trait 100% with that first option there. So it's really the best way to go for your children to have some good stats. Need some money to get our mission. We can build these holdings uh, that we can give to our kids potentially. That's always better than doing the county titles if you can avoid it. At least for an empire our size. I guess, uh, duchy is the proper term. But we should probably start thinking about, because if we stay independent, we, uh, we will not be able to expand anywhere really because these great empires control most of the territory around in these parts. However, if we joined one of these great empires, the Abbasids, or the uh, Tulanids, or the Byzantine Empire, we can do some infighting to gain more territory within it, and uh, also not risk being wholly warred out of our titles from other empires because, you know, we're under under one of these big ones and they'd have to face the whole empire in order to take us down so gotta think about who I'm going to maybe do this with or if I want to um, more or less looking for who likes us the most to see uh, to see who we should go with but uh, 
Haven't made any decisions yet, but we'll see what we do next time. So uh, come and join us again here on Crete, and we'll see what we can do to secure our future. See ya.